hi guys so today i'm gonna be like telling you my story and please like whatever you do like whatever happens don't write sad messages like oh you're sorry just listen and you know just if you maybe write a love man or something but don't write like statements on you know like i'm good i'm good i'm itching how oh, good can good get on your skin <laughs> you know so it's gonna be a, a sad story for someone but not for me you know even though it's my story <sighs> i'm nice anyway on the 10th of january for those who don't know what i do i'm a teacher by calling i own language but i've been called into this thing i do it with a passion i'm a teacher but okay the only reason why i don't like it is because you don't make a lot of money when you're a teacher so that's the only reason but i'm called for it and i enjoy it and i do it with love for the people that i teach <coughs> so on the on the i've been a temporal educator at the home at my home home school the school where i go and study from i've been a temporal teacher for like five five years this would be my sixth year right i think it's not six okay i started working as a teacher in 2017 april or may 2021 yeah so this was going to be my sixth year as a temporal and on the 10th of january i'm really hungry <laughs> Let's just pretend it's a milk belly. On the 10th of um, January, I was called into work at this office. And I remember that day I was wearing like a black shirt. And when I got to the big office, I was told, finally, you've been absorbed. And you're going to be a, a permanent employee. Was I not happy? And then I should bring my CV the following day. As well, I, there were two of us, me and this other guy, amazing teacher. Amazing teacher, that guy. I'm a good teacher, but that one is amazing. Because he was more versatile than I was. You know. If I had a school, it would be my first teacher that I employ. And they, he's supposed to be like the first member of my team. He told me that one time. He's going to be the first member that we can teach. <laughs> so, I got there. I told him, tomorrow come with your CV. So I was not there, so I called him. I was like, did I tell you that you tomorrow must bring our CVs? And he's like, yes. And we come and we came the next day. On the 11th, school was reopening on the 12th. Mm -hmm. about around um, 10 we called into the office and when we get to the office I take my CV and go to the office and um, we were told that we should go home. We'll be called to come back. You know, when the, um, everything is sorted and the letter for us to be permanent has been sent. And we'll come back when everything has been sorted. So, yeah, we went, we left. 
and then the letter that the, the school had written and the other guy went with it to to the circuit the last copy for recommendation and then after that <coughs> on the um, 12th the school will open and then we were told because it's not gonna take long i'm gonna take at least a week at most two weeks which means we're gonna get back into school the following week and you know ah, i was i was like full of faith and fire i was like i know this is it this is it i'm gonna get into this school and then he's gonna make a way for me infinite intelligence will pay the way you know those kind of declarations like i was confident in god that he's gonna make a way you know because there was like a little hope so like i was confident mm -hmm. the first week confident in god wow my god never too late always on time second week passed it How frustrating just sitting at home and doing nothing is no but i had hope you know i was like still on fire and i was like okay this is god's way mm -hmm. two weeks passes <laughs> the guy i was waiting with it was kind of like easier because it was two of us got a job somewhere else and got hired and we started the first week today then nine the ninth and then now i'm alone you know in this week first of february second nothing no call no nothing hmm. becomes interesting you know, you know as time goes by and then you know you get to a point where it doesn't look like the hope <clears throat> when you get to a point where the situation just doesn't look hopeful um it was easier to have faith when there was a chance you know i knew there was a chance but as time moves by and um, there's just like so many storms rising up and you start hearing some crazy things you know about you as a person and you shock ah, me it becomes very interesting to have faith you know it was, it, it was easier then now it's become like you know crazy become crazy and i remember you know that the, there'll be times where you know in the whole waiting thing you just wake up and you just don't know what to do you don't know whether you should apply or what and you just live in and somewhere along the road you break down In this song, my, my, we used to sing, um, even in my mom's car when she was driving, it says, But in the night, I hear a mat. I'm a shonam, da karalam, karalam, uyakumam. Matimbala Mansha. <laughs> yeah, I will feel sometimes, you know, I'm at that level when I would run out of strength and I'm like, I'm scared, I'm wild. I'm scared. I don't want to be in that spot where I rely on my dad again. Now that would be a disaster. <laughs> but, 
you know but in all things you know what listening to florence shin really helped me a lot in terms of me regaining my faith you know because i you know every time i finish listening to her i feel like i can do it i can do this i got this you know and i'm at that point where i'm like if i die i die i die in the faith you know and i know that god is not my god maybe his ways are not my ways he has ways that i know not of you know and it doesn't matter how like crooked it looks when i when i posted the video that the, the the on monday the motivational video about oh when a storm comes you must be strong it was kind of like you know i was at that level of saying you know i'm strong you know but i, I didn't realize the kind of waves that i was going to face a few days after that and a scripture that i thought i needed to share with people i realized that that scripture was for me and it's time for me to practice what i preach you know <laughs> so you guys must be careful what to preach because now it's my time in the midst of some crazy storms to practice what i preach and you know to have this huge faith in god mm -hmm. Today is day what? And today, I don't even know. I'm gonna just say it's the first day of this week. I'm gonna keep you like updated on as to what happens. You know, so basically, I've been like unemployed for two months. For two months. You guys can tell that this is a new cup. I'm always buying cups because Levi always finds a way to break the cups. So I'm always buying new cups. So yes, it's a new cup and it's like, you know, the label is just not there, you know. Let me just try and remove that. I will go back to work soon because like, damn, I'm going to be fat. So... I've been unemployed for two months. You see why it's been two months? It's not easy to say. Hmm. God, you are my endless supply. Well, today I feel so encouraged. Eh? I know that God will make a way. I'm sure of it. The Bible says, now faith now faith is i want you to follow up on this video so that when i enter into my breakthrough you guys can also share that moment and that experience with me i know really you know a lot of people are gonna i'm not gonna like you know be interested in this kind of content but this is real this is real life and it's as real as it gets you know <coughs> So yeah, I'm gonna be posting and keeping you updated. Ma? Um, that was so snug there, sis. How much time are we? I trust in God. I trust Him. And when everyone door shuts, I'm evidence that another one closes, hmm? opens. <laughs> but I don't want one close. God says, I place an open door in front of you. And I believe that this door is nailed back. We'll meet again tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you how I feel tomorrow. Because some days I feel encouraged. Some days. 
Dog and Hill. I can't wait for my breakthrough, you know? Swing us in. It's time. Subscribe.